Recently, you might have noticed the majority of YouTube channels use talking animation like this. In today's video, I will show you how to create this animation in a simple way using CapCut. If you are new to my channel, I'm Janet. Welcome. Before we dive into the video, please subscribe to my channel, like and hit on the notification bell just to stay updated. Without further ado, let's dive into the tutorial. The first thing you need is the character for your video, which you can easily generate in CapCut with a prompt or on any AI website. If you can't find this option in your CapCut, kindly update your CapCut. Now tap on new project and open up your CapCut interface. Select media. Under media, you'll see AI generated. Tap on it. Then these are the prompts I want this AI to generate for me. I already have this type in before. So I'm just going to go with this. So this is my text. You can edit it. I'll leave it in the description box. Then the next thing is for you to tap on generate and wait for some seconds for the AI to generate your text. These are the images that the AI generated for me. I have four images right here. So once you check it and see the one you would like, I think I like this one because it's facing the camera direct. So it will be easy for you or for me to edit. So you just tap on HD and allow it to load. So once the image is open, just tap on it. It's going to open it for you to see how it is. So when you are satisfied with the image, just tap on download down here and save it to your system. So aside from CapCut, there are some other sites that can also give you those type of images. One of them is this Lexica AI and this AI generator. All you just need to do is to create an account with them. Then you'll be able to use their tool. So for this Lexica AI, you just type your prompt here. Once you are done typing here, you tap on this to generate. These are some of the images I generated. So once the, the AI has finished generating for you, just tap here to download it. You can click on the image to expand it. But once you find the one you want, just tap here and download the image to your system. So now that we have our image ready, the next thing we are going to do is to edit this image. So what I'm going to do is to drag and drop this image inside my Photoshop. If you don't have Photoshop, you can watch videos on how to download it. Or if you have any editing app that you know how to use very well, go ahead and open up the image there. What I'm going to do next is to zoom in this image so that I can see what I want to do very well. Now I'm going to select this spot healing brush too because I want to clean something from this image. So trace the mouth and remove it. Remove it neatly like this and go ahead and save your image. So now the next thing you are going to do is to import your image and the moving mouth. I'm going to leave the link to this moving mouth in my description box so that you can have access to it. So tap on this plus sign to add it here. And this one, you are just going to drag and drop it here. And since our video is not that long, just tap on the mouth, tap here to split, and delete the remaining part. Now, the next thing you are going to do is to tap on this moving mouth. Under video here, tap on cutout, select chroma key. Color picker, select this and put it on this green. Now increase the strength to remove that green and increase the shadow for balancing. Once you are done with everything, the next thing you are going to do is to move this mouth right here and reduce it. Come back to basic and reduce the scale just right here. 
for you to see clearly tap here and zoom in for you to see it clearly so start adjusting it you can see it then i'm going to return this back to how it was So ordinarily, we can leave this like this, but leaving it like this doesn't make it look realistic. We need to add some effect to it. Now to add the effect, tap on effect and you scroll down to where you see spark. So you select this one, this one, spark. So you move it to the end of your video like this. So. The next thing is to reduce the strength of this pack. Reduce the atmosphere to something like this. Let's do 42% is fine or 44. Then reduce the speed to 33%. Now the second effect is for you to scroll down again and tap on this scanning. So tap on this blue ray scanning and adjust it like this now reduce the blur to two percent and reduce the strength the strength to three percent and the glow reduce it to one percent so it's not too shiny shiny now the range reduce it to two percent and the speed we can leave it at 2% as well. So once that is done, tap on this spectrum scanning and add it again. But this time, you move it to the end of your video and reduce it like this. So we are going to leave the atmosphere to be 0, the strength to be 15, the glow to be... Mm, the glow to be one so it's not too bright and the range to then the speed also to the end of the day you should have something like this so once you are done just export it and save it to your system the last effect you want to add is zoom in effect so after exporting that video so you now export the video again and add it to your project so you drag it to the to your working station so you tap on effect lenses and scroll down to where you see zoom lens and add it move it to the middle and let's see the final result please support my channel by subscribing like and share this video bye for now